Good morning. I'm Kelly. And I'm Caitlin. And you know what? This is your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's going to teach you how to make toast. We got to start off somewhere. Here we go. It's March. <laughs> this is a good thing to make in March. You should totally do it. She's going to make it avocado toast. Okay, there's so much more. Hello. Oh, I'm sure. Hello, 2016. It's okay, like the most popular. Breakfast. We both need a lot of attention, obviously. <laughs> okay, so this is avocado toast with kimchi marinated cucumbers that you can chop with a fried egg just to really make your day extra Ooh. special. So, if you want to be so 2016 with us, make yourself some avocado toast. Yay! Okay. By but, the way, if this was cooking with Kelly, we would be making toast. Period. Like toast. But there's like restaurant. Like <laughs> toast is cool. Yeah, you're right. Um. Okay. Totally. Totally. So. D- no. I so derailed. this is Korean kimchi. <laughs> it is essentially pickled cabbage, but it's spicy, and I love it for so many reasons. Because of well, there's so many flavors. It's fermented, and between the way you make it is you make a paste, like a chili paste. You didn't make this one, though. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, no. I did not jar it and label it all that. Put it in the ground in yes. 12, 60, the year okay. 1265. So Napa cabbage is that beautiful, tall, like, like pale green, yellow color with beautiful leaves, all that good stuff. So what they do is they make a chili paste, essentially, and rub it between the leaves, oh. and then fold it all together, and then bury it underground for an extended am- amount of time until it's fermented. And then it becomes kimchi. Okay, so all these restaurants that have on their menu homemade kimchi. Well, Do they have it, it like under canned. the parking lot out front? Okay, okay. so it's not on right now. So this is just, I just put kimchi in here. It already has a lot like of flavor. Like funk and all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to add a little bit more acid. Number one, just to brighten the flavor. Number two. The acid in the form of rice vinegar. I don't right. think you oh, said Oh, yeah. Sorry. Rice vinegar. Also, the acid will help keep the avocados from browning. And it will also start to slowly make the cucumbers tender. So those are the two ingredients. Great. Boom. First step down. Um, next step, these are mini cucumbers. You can buy the big mama ones, but I just like these because they're tender and mild in flavor. They're darling. And you perfect. can keep them in your purse. I probably Is that a mini cucumber in your purse? This, I'm just on my way home to make toast. Oh Good God. to see you, friend. Listen, this is March. <laughs> We're just starting to play with green things again. Just it is cucumber season. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, but this would also, just the kimchi marinated cucumbers would be a delicious side for any like grilled meats or people you add that you might Spicy things? Would it help with oh, spice sure. or not? Or is this in itself going to be kind of spicy? Not overwhelming. You can meats. choose your kimchi accordingly, right? Yes. I mean, there are very spicy options. Sorry. Cucumber and the salt. That's a bad, um, bad news. Okay. So then... It smells so fresh and so clean, clean. It actually is starting to smell like a Bed Bath & Beyond now that you've cut the Cucumbers. cucumber. Oh. Sure, whatever you're yeah. into. Yeah. Okay. Would you recommend putting them on your eyes after you put the marinade them in the kimchi? Okay. So then I'll just lightly season with salt and toss it together. Okay. And that's part one. Boy, this really oh, they're really wiggly. They're so they're really wiggly. wiggly. They're happy. Spring is sprung or springed or sprung too. Thank you. Okay, there's I'm that. Okay. I mean, how easy is that? So, when you were um, advocating serving this as a side, would you do it just like this, or like let it sit in the fridge, or all of the above? Um, all of the above. The thing is, is that the cucumbers will become tender with it. So, if you want the crunch of the cucumber, then Serve it right away. Yeah, exactly. Where did I? Mm-hmm. We're family, and so I'm just gonna reuse this spoon. I just cut the avocado in half and sliced it, and then I will fan it. Here. Fan much? So you don't have to go to culinary school to learn how to fan your avocado. Do you know what I actually do? Not that you're saying you do, but usually my avocados are. I like to. I like them kind of mushy before I cut into them. Okay. Not rotten, but. Okay. And then I just scoop it. Right. Okay, ripe. Yes, ripe. Sorry. Uh, I I just flip the half onto it and fork it out. That looks way prettier. 
And by the way, who asked me? This isn't the Cooking with Kelly Toast show. That's next next <laughs> month. Okay, so I've learned the hard way. It's better to just slice it and then smear it. Okay. Wait, after all my helpful tips, it's better to slice it and then well, smear it? Well, just in terms of you're feeding more than yourself in the privacy of your own home. Got it. Slice and smear. Okay. Can you take the cucumbers? Here. Are you cool to do that or not? No. What you're doing right now? It's so okay. Are you going to shingle it on beautifully? There we go. Beautifully shingled, lightly marinated. But you can cucumbers. marinate to your heart's delight if you want to put this in the fridge of the course. night before. Or something. Okay. And oh then, my. wait, one more thing. I need everybody to enjoy how gorge. Sorry, I said it. Look at this, Caitlin. Okay. That's too like a. Um, wait, time out. Oh, sorry, not done. sorry. Calm down. Um, and then I finish <gasps> it off with a little bit of fresh mint, just to really brighten everything. I mean, up. pull it together. Take that, Instagram. Caitlin, will you pull it down so everyone can really enjoy? Okay. We'll just. Do can oh, you where stop am I moving going? your where hands? Where do I put it? Close there. To you. Okay. There you go. Okay. What? We're gonna leave you with this shot. Can you smell that? Okay. No, you can't, but I can, and it's delightful. But to make this at home and smell it yourself, click on the link down below and tune in more. <laughs> We've got lots of great recipes that you need to be cooking in March. We'll be here. Come back. More See toast. You soon. No more toast. No more toast. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>